Hey yo, what is up you guys? It's Tyler Oryx was Fi here and we are back with another video today. Sorry I haven't uploaded in like a week. I've just been super busy with the holiday and everything and homework and school and a lot. We're gonna jump right into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Please leave a like if you do. And here we go. For pretty much when you go through basic combat training, those people that follow your company, your training company around and they film you, they pick pictures, all the stuff to uh, advance the training for the next training groups. And then you are able to purchase such DVDs and pictures at the end of basic combat training. I did purchase this DVD. I don't remember how much it was. Um, anyway, so this is the very beginning of basic combat training. I think we just got our rifles, but we left them back at the bay because this day was rainy. It sucked. We had to do some team building exercises. We did this team building obstacle course. Pretty much you're not allowed to touch the bark. It's just like floor is lava. That's what it reminded me of. Uh, I was part of Delta Company, 119th Infantry Regiment or 19th Infantry Regiment, Delta 119. Um, and I'm a mortarman in the Army National Guard, so we are all mortarmen. Uh, I don't know if I'm in this beginning part, but yeah. Oh, and we also had to bring an aid and litter with a dummy on it. So the dude was hurt and we had to, you know, do all that stuff. We used human bridges a lot, so someone would lean like that guy right there and then people would climb across him. Wow. I completely forgot about that all this stuff happened. I'm gonna skip through it a little bit. Now here is a real obstacle course. You have to crawl. This is like 50 yards or something. It wasn't too bad. Ah, that guy's crawling wrong. Dude, climbing the rope sucked. It sucked. I, I sucked at it. If you guys went through basic combat training and you were able to make it to the top, let me know down in the comments section. Make me feel stupid. Oh, he's doing it right though. There he goes. Man, they, they're they already tired. This is just the beginning of the obstacle course, too. You pretty much just crawl, do a few things, and then you climb that rope. Uh, this is kind of interesting. Um, doing that, it's kind of fun. Uh, it's just really tiring. Hey, there's my buddy. His name's Savage. He's cool. Yep, crawling on your back over underneath the barbed wire. It's not real barbed wire. It's just regular wire so that trainees don't be idiots and get hurt you know what i'm saying it's crazy to look back at this because everybody's bald <laughs> including me i'm somewhere in here i'm just skipping through to the good stuff ah uh, this is when we're starting to rappel down the tower it's called the eagle tower it's like 70 feet high and you gotta do this and put your hand in the small of your back and then squeeze and it slows you down it's actually kind of fun um a lot of people are scared if you have a fear of heights you obviously don't want to do it that guy's doing it awesome look at him that was actually kind of fun. You have to drop a leg and then keep one up and it balances you. That was pretty fun. Oh God, Coogler. We all had that one trainee in basic training. Coogler was that trainee. If you went through basic combat training, you know what I'm talking about. All right, now we're at the gas chamber. This is about week two, week two. Kind of sucked. They give us like nine, eight to nine seconds to put on our mask as quick as we can, obviously. A lot of us couldn't do it that quick yet because we just learned how to do it. But yeah, now they're in the gas chamber. We got CS gas here and it sucks. It's to trust that, you know, your gas mask worked. No, mine worked. I didn't realize it was working because you couldn't see the gas, but this is how it is coming out right here. Yikes. Yeah, that's how it is right there. Come out. You got to flap your arms. Oh, spit snot. The drill sergeant right there guiding everybody. He wants people to throw up. <laughs> I don't see me. I don't know where I am. Okay. That's third platoon. Oh, no. There I am. I look so sad. <laughs> yep. So that was the gas chamber. Oh, this was my favorite part of basic combat training. Uh, land navigation, I think, is probably the best part. It's so fun. You just get to run around the woods, find these points. It's right there. SP3. That's starting point three. Starting point four is right there. I don't know all those guys still. I remember all them. I wonder how they're doing. I haven't talked to them in a long, long time. Lowry and Coogler's there. Oh God. Oh, there's Goddard too. Man, Coogler and Goddard, man. Those are those train. Those were the trainees that uh, you you guys know what I mean. I mean, they were just fuck ups. 
all the time. See, we do a land navigation course during the day, which is what this one is. You also do one at night with red flashlights. Um, and then you do, you do another one in AIT and it's a little bit shorter, but you gotta get to your points faster because it's a little bit shorter. A uh, shorter length of time to do it, that's what I mean. I mean, if you guys are heading out to basic combat training now, in whatever branch you're in, it's gonna be the one place where you will see all kinds of people from all over the country. I mean, there's people there from Hawaii, there's people there from Detroit, New York, Florida, even Puerto Rico. I was a squad leader for half a basic training and I had a Puerto Rican in my squad and he didn't speak any English, but he made it through. Insane. I mean, he spoke some English. He eventually like picked up on most of the stuff, but yeah, he, he could barely speak English when he got there. And yeah, it was insane. All right, now we're at the good stuff. We're at the rifle range, advanced rifle marksmanship here. This was fun for me. Uh, before this, I had never shot a rifle, really. I mean, I think I did when I was younger, but that doesn't really count, does it? <laughs> oh man, it was so fun to just chill, have a fun day shooting these targets. So they pop up and you have to shoot them. You'll see, I don't know where, it's probably gonna be the one to the right. Yep, you see it pop up right there. You got people calling out the ranges. Yep, that, that was what was fun for me is I got to help my battle buddies out, um, scream in the ranges for them, trying to keep them going, you know what I mean? Man, everybody was so focused trying to get everything correct. Checking their barrels, making sure they got no uh, rounds stuck in there. And then we get checked to make sure nobody snuck rounds around because people do, unfortunately, end up becoming suicidal um around basic training time depending on their family situations but i'll tell you one thing those sites suck they're called ccos they are ass i never want to use one again but i probably will have to use one again all right we're going to stop my basic training video here it's about 40 minutes in if you guys want to see part two let me know down in the comments section this will be part one here yeah i this happened in 2019 which I mean, January 14th of 2019 is when I went. So it's almost been two years since I've left for basic combat training. I graduated May 3rd of 2019. Um, since I'm infantry, it was only 14 weeks total, including AIT and basic combat training. Um, so I wasn't there long, but uh, it was definitely an experience that n almost nobody experiences. I wouldn't change it, to be honest. I had a lot of fun. I had my time and now I'm back home uh doing my national guard stuff i know that a lot of active people make fun of us but um i, I don't care i really don't care no but uh it, it was it was pretty fun if you guys want to know anything else about basic combat training if you're leaving soon if you're signing contracts if you're even thinking about it let me know go follow me on twitter and you could dm me anytime i'm totally open to answering any questions i love talking about military stuff so yeah be sure to drop a like for me and i'll see you guys in the next video peace that's just the drug